Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Patrick and Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin series, Bitcoin Cash. Actually, there's two interesting things going on. It's so far held the rotation zone, and we have a new defining point on the trend line. A close above that defining point would also be a close above the uh, 21 EMA, or top of the rotation zone, into a clear path. And then we'd have targets of uh, 1940, then 2007. To the upside and then above that we'd be looking for around 2000 uh right in between the 50 period exponential moving average and this 25 percent retracement level so that would be roughly around 233 to 260 at this point but keep in mind these moving averages are going to keep coming down we have a very sloppy double top slightly lower probability but if we do get a close below the base here the base is at 16.56. The first target for stop reduction would be 15.46, which also pretty much takes us to 15.42, which is the 62.5 retracement level. And then below that, 14.92, then 14.37. So keep that in mind. If we do get a close, those are the targets. The first one would generally be a stop reduction for shorting. The next two would be profit targets. But if you're watching down here, any of these can be buy points if you get a buy signal pattern. So that's what we're watching for, for both the upside and downside. Let's switch over to the daily chart. Right now, you can see just moving sideways since it's big sell-off consolidating we're also getting the uh rotation zone coming down now that upper target i mentioned 2007 is right where the 8 ema is at this point so if we rally that is a pretty good target straight to the 8 ema ema let's switch over to bitcoin gold so bitcoin gold looks like we're getting right now the rotation zone is looks like it's about to cross we've come down to 37 half percent retracement level just holding above there right now 50 EMAs come down on the four hour time frame. We do have a nice trend line here. And if we did get a close above this trend line and above the 241.50 level, so we'd want it to sort of drift sideways and then close over here, we'd be looking about 253 as the first target area and 265 to 270 as the next target area. Also, Here's the major support level for Bitcoin gold. We don't want to see a close below 181 on this. It'd be nice to see this rotation zone hold, drift up, get back above the 50, and then attack the higher prices. But if it does retreat, the 50% level from this down up move is 193, and then 181 is a key level that we don't want to see it go. There's no other pattern here to the downside we can watch for. You can draw a proper trend line and proper path trend line which would make this the defining point right here. So if we do get a close below this trend line, watch for it to drop down to this right near this defining point, which would put it into, into that 0.5 to 6.5 major GAN support level. Let's check in on the daily chart. So daily chart, it did run up to the top of the rotation zone, now holding back below the eight. So also if it did rally back up and triggered that trend line trade, that would also be above the rotation zone on the daily basis, and that leads us to the next targets we talked about. But if this does turn lower, we're going to have to watch for that support between the 193 and 181 to see if that holds. If that does not hold, then I'm expecting a retest of the lows, and then possibly if those are broken, our new levels down here. Finally, over to Bitcoin Cash, it did get the close above here. Could not sustain that. That level's been tested multiple times. And it's now dipping back down with the rotation zone holding. We do have a new defining point. So if we do get a close above 11,904, that would trigger another trend line trade. First target, 12,238. Next target area between about 12,469 to 12,569. But that would be fine-tuned as it running up. We're into a big clear path movement if we get this out of the way. Now... Another sloppy double top here. If that triggered on a close below 10,647, then this would only be a two target. What's interesting is the first target was forms a really nice cluster right around this 10,000 level, 99.95 to 10,018. So that's a pretty strong cluster. That would put it below the 625. So if we did close down here, we could spike down. But then if we got a close blow here, we then expect the next target of about 9.97.04 to be hit. And then if that didn't hold, we'd be watching for a retest 
of somewhere closer to the lows. So watch for that. So there's both upside and downside targets on here. So if, if you did accumulate something and you haven't taken it off, at least move up the stop or especially do something if it does get a close below this 10,647. Let's check in on the daily chart. So you see it hasn't managed to get up to the 8 EMA, which is coming in at that first target area, the 12,238 for if it does trigger long and then the second target would take it within the rotation zone but it has not been able to get up there yet so if we keep continue to see the eight coming down then i would not be surprised to see that sloppy double top trigger and a retest of some of this recent up move to see if we can find support down there because then you have eight pushing the price lower so we have for you on the bitcoin series thanks for all of you who've been doing some extra video watching over the next few days it's really helping us really get close to that uh total number of hours watched that we need to achieve within the next uh three or so weeks so thanks again to everybody bye for now